car mount anywhere for my phone so I can't film while I'm driving which is annoying because I kind of just wanted to get going but I needed to say hello I'm starting the vlog today also this trench coat is so long sitting in the driver's seat with it is a bit stressful I won't lie to you but the shops are open guys the shops are open I have no business spending any money but it would be rude of me on my day off to not go and have a look in Primark and H&M I hate this angle so that's what I'm gonna do today I don't know if I'll vlog much when I'm out because I mean vlogging in public is absolutely terrifying especially when you're on your own yeah I don't know what else I'm gonna do I need a bath I need to put some tan on I'm making a tomato soup recipe from TikTok tonight that'll be exciting and I also hmm I might make a Biscoff cake but I don't know if I'll have time I mean, it's not as if I want to have time, it's just that, you know, when it gets late and then you don't want to do anything, I feel like it'll be like that. Anyway, so first things first, let's go and have a look at the shop, shall we? My hands are so dry, it's actually a problem. I'm sad that I can't vlog and drive because you best bet I will be listening to Fearless, Taylor's version, on repeat, until the next one comes out. Yeah, I'm nearly 27, but I'm still 15 at heart, okay? Oh, I forgot my chew I forgot my chewing gums. Or post a letter as well. Anyway, I'm I'm going on. I will see you when I see you. I am aware of how basic, but I want sage green. Everything in my bedroom, please. Also, the home department just wasn't doing it for me, but here it is anyway. It was a really pleasant experience shopping in Primark. It was so lovely. I queued for like one minute. It was glorious. very underwhelmed I'm not gonna lie I almost started just buying things for the sake of it but I was like no if you don't love it don't buy it so I got a pair of jeans and a bra in Primark I saw nothing in H&M that I wanted I mean I did I saw some um, straight leg blue jeans that I've really been on the lookout for but at the minute my priority is like clothes for work and I can't really wear jeans like that for work especially with like rips in um so I bought a pair of black jeans they're kind of like straight leg but I think they're more mom I don't know I think they're just normal jeans and um, I think they'll be fine for work as long as they fit but yeah I was in H&M for literally ages trying to find something it's quite a small H&M as well um but I couldn't find anything that I liked it's fine it's fine I'm gonna go online. Maybe later. No, I'm not. I still gotta send some nasty girl stuff back. Anyway, I am babbling. I am about to pop two Waitrose. I've gotta get some stuff for the soup, but I don't know if I wanna get that from Waitrose because Waitrose is expensive. Actually, I most I mostly have to get vegetables and vegetables are vegetables. Do you know what I mean? I need to get tomatoes, which are in fact fruit. Bethan? Um, yeah, the, like the reason I want to pop up there is because I'm hoping they do some veggie sushi because I am craving that and I haven't really had lunch today. I've had two bagels today, but it's like quarter past three and I haven't had a substantial lunch. So I'm going to go pop to Waitrose now and then we're going to go home. I forgot to get olive oil, so I've had to stop at Co-op on my way home. Ow. How annoying. How annoying. Who forgets to get oil? To be fair, you don't often run out of it. I'm actually quite glad there to pop into co-op because that lady was so nice and I got my favourite cookies, co-op vegan cookies. They're so good. Now I have to carry all this stuff. This is the worst lighting in the world. Cupboard door. This always reminds you of school, like when you're holding a note and it's like, ah. <laughs> and the teacher's like, <laughs> I've got a French stick. I really fancied it and this is going to be so good with the tomato soup. I even got organic broccoli. Like, who am I? Only because it was reduced, because it goes off today. It's uh, 189 instead of 225.
Beautiful. I got 12 tomatoes. A red onion. I've got some, but I didn't know how many I had. And a whole thing of garlic. I'm literally going to put this whole thing in there. Some chilies. Some coconut milk. And then I did find some sushi. I got this one. So at the minute, I am doing vegan monday to friday and then on the weekend i just eat what i want it's working for me so far um I lo i'm really loving it i get to the weekend and i'm like sometimes i don't even fancy like eating real chocolate or meat or whatever but it's just nice that i have the option and sometimes it's something to look forward to like if i want a nice roast dinner um but yeah these cookies like i showed you earlier from co-op um they're so good i digress just because i know people will ask questions um i got this pack of sushi that i'm gonna devour right now i'm starving and i've never had these things whatever they are um but i'm gonna try in fact i'm gonna sit down watch some youtube videos and eat it and i'm gonna have a bath and then i'm gonna start cooking ignore that bag that's just clothes that i am giving away so while while my bath is running, I thought I'd show you the jeans I got from Prima. Oh yeah, I also got this bra, like I said. So I've got a thing these days about bras with no padding in. I much prefer them. Like my chest is considerably larger than it used to be. And it's not my favorite thing. I know some people would kill to have big boobs, but it's not my favorite thing. So I like the bras with just the underwire and no padding. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this one on. Obviously, probably not on camera though. And then these are the jeans I got. They're quite basic. They are, are they like straight leg? What are they called? Vintage straight leg high waist. Hopefully they look nice on. I'm gonna try them. Yes, I am editing in my car. Um, you gotta do what you gotta do. Long story short, they didn't fit. I there's just a bit too much naked going on, so I had to cut that bit out. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> They're cool at the bottom. I'm gonna have to get ten. Damn it, that's so annoying. Anyway, I'm gonna have a bath because I need to put some tan on because I'm feeling a bit not great, you know. Hello. So I've had my bath and I'm cooking dinner tonight. Except I need to pick my boyfriend up from work soon so what i'm going to do is prepare it like cut it all put it on the tray ready to go in the other go i'm i think i might try and exchange my jeans today as well come back put the first lot of food in the oven put some fake tan on put the next lot in it sounds like a mission but i think i'm gonna do it i'm doing a recipe that i saw on tiktok um for tomato soup also yeah i still have recycling it. I feel like when I film it's just there looking all disgusting. At least I recycle. <laughs> okay, I don't know where to put you to show you what's going on. Also, this is just so sexy, isn't it? I live in my dressing gown, you all know this. So, I need to cut these tomatoes in half. So that's what I'm going to do first. Where's my tray? Where is my big boy tray? Here it is. Mm. Here's my tray. I got it from my mama. God. Does anyone else get really triggered by loud sounds? A knife. Cutting the tomatoes. Do I do it this way? Yeah. Or do I do it? I think I'm gonna do it that way. <laughs> this jump makes me look. <laughs> Seven. Here we go. Got the coconut milk ready for later. I've never done my tan before with makeup already on. So look at the colour difference. I'm in my classic tan in pyjamas. Need to put this in the bin. Yeah, they don't smell of anything. Tomatoes in the pot. Oh, 
the juices. That slap sound. Slap up. <laughs> hey, must be the money. Why is garlic so good? So I used all of these ingredients exactly as it says for a soup that is meant to be this colour. <laughs> And um, I'm not sure what's happening here. Actually, the more I look at it, the more it looks okay. Is it just me? No, you're right. I'm right. It does look a bit red on you. You've got red on you. But I think it's going to be tasty. <laughs> All right. Wait, you're taking the bins out? Yeah, I'll do that now. Oh, you are good. I know. Oh, Pepsi Max is for some reason the drug of choice <laughs> these days. Absolutely addicted to it. Um, it turns out okay. It looks like tomato soup now, doesn't it? A bit. I think it does. It's good. Tasty. Right, broccoli. Oh, I think we're gonna bring a fork for the broccoli. It's all right, we'll have to... munch it. Should we watch fresh meat? Ah, oh, yeah. I've always got something hanging on my door when I record. Hello, good morning. I was looking at my vlog footage from, it was the day before yesterday when I filmed and I realized I didn't really have enough footage for the whole vlog. So I'm gonna to vlog today. It is another day off for me, another day off work. I've just completed the first week back to the old day job. And honestly, it hasn't been that bad. I feel like I was one of these people that was a bit apprehensive to come out of lockdown. When I get used to things and I get into like a routine of what I'm doing, I hate things changing like all of a sudden. So I thought it was gonna feel really overwhelming like all in one go, but it actually wasn't too bad. I've just kind of thrown myself into it. Like, well, this is it, let's just do it. So you might, so you might have realized that the other day I didn't make my Biscoff cake because I knew I wasn't gonna have time to be honest and I just can't be bothered either. So I'm gonna make it today. I'm very excited. Today is a day of errands. I need to take um, a parcel to Asda to be uh, sent back to Nasty Gal. I have a couple of things to try on that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make a Biscoff cake. Also, I'm obsessed with this new sweatshirt it's from Nasty Gal. It's so cozy. I need to stop sleeping in my fake ass gold hoops because it makes my ears hurt. Anyway, let's go. I just ate the most pesto -y green pasta thing ever. So I'm picking herbs out of my tea. Lovely. I've just been out to get my Biscoff cake ingredients. I'm using a recipe from thebaconexplorer.com. Um, I used it once before and it was incredible. Oh my God. Goodness, and I'm gonna make it. I don't have like a good setup to show you what I'm doing, so we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go with it, okay? Preheating my oven to 160 fan, and I'm gonna do all the wet ingredients first. My scales, whisk. I'm literally just gonna go in order. So I need 150 ml of vegetable oil. Perfect. I'm watching an old. Zoella vlog in the living room, you can probably hear it. In you go, darling. Then I need 450ml of uh, dairy-free milk. I'm gonna use almond milk. I feel like almond milk is just, it's just the way to go when you want, if you want, if a recipe calls for dairy-free milk and they don't, and they don't have a specific one, almond milk always does the trick. Unsweetened. This is a new one. How much do I need? 450. Oh wow, that is a lot. Hopefully it will help get the oil out of here as well. There we go. And I like to put things away as I go, otherwise it's going to get real messy. Pour that in. It's a lot of liquid. <laughs> okay. Two teaspoons of cider vinegar. Where's my spoon? There we go. Two teaspoons. Yup. Possibly that was too much. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I think I'm gonna have to get a new one of these soon. 
Oh, vanilla's the best. Two teaspoons of you, my love. I'm just gonna whisk that together for a sec. Don't need to, that makes no sense, but I did it anyway. And then I need 100 grams of Biscoff. Here she is. So I already have one in the cupboard, so I'm gonna use um, the remnants of this one first. How much do I need? 100 grams. If you don't know what this is, it's basically a biscuit spread. There are these biscuits and they're like spiced, beautiful caramelly biscuits that um, are often served with coffee when you go to like cafes and stuff. And they've made a spread, which is absolutely incredible. I'm using the smooth, but obviously there is a crunchy one as well. Maybe I didn't need to buy two more biscoffs. Maybe I just needed one. Rum or whiskey. Okay. In that goes. Then I'm gonna whisk that together. Last time, um, I thought the biscoff wasn't gonna whisk in very well, but it actually really did. I'm going to add and some sugar, 300 grams of light brown sugar. How much do I need? 300 grams, wowie. Yes. That is so much sugar. Wow. Okay, get the sugar in there. It almost looks like coffee. But it's really liquidy, as you can see. But the biscoff is definitely all melted in there now. Now I need 500 grams of self-raising flour. Okay. And then I need two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm popping this into the flour that I've measured. And I'm gonna mix it in there a little bit. I always see people doing this and I don't even know if it does anything. But ever since seeing someone do it um, years ago, watching it, you probably like one of Blair Fowler's old baking videos. She mixed in like the baking powder or the bicarb or whatever she was using into the flour. So now I do that. And I'm gonna add the flour little by little. Well, I'm gonna do like half each because it's so liquidy not going to be a pain and I'm still going to whisk I should probably use a wooden spoon I might use it towards the end but I am just whisk. whisking it in it's not as if there's any eggs that we're in any danger of beating the life out of what you're drinking I've just realized there's no dairy free butter in the uh, cake it's only in the icing but I guess that's because of the there's loads of oil in the actual cake. <laughs> it just made me think of that poor kid whisking his mashed potatoes. I have to restart my potatoes. Oh. oh my. This looks delightful. Look at this. I just want to eat it out of the bowl. Here we go, I've just divided the mixture as evenly as I can between my two cake tins. My laptop's on the stove, don't worry it's not on. Um, and now they're going in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Oh, my wait. phone is now absolutely smothered in cake mix. But whilst the cakes are in the oven, I just thought I'd do a little haul. I'm gonna try on the pieces as well to show you what I've bought recently. I, I've been having a bit of a myth. I needed to buy some new clothes. I needed to think about what to wear for spring and summer and stuff. So yeah, needed a few bits. I'm sending some of this back, but I thought I'd show you anyway, just in case you're interested. This is one of them, this jumper. It's got coordinates on it. I didn't realize it actually says F U C K. Um, didn't realize till it came, but I love the color of it. Um, I've got butter on my on me um but i love it i bought it in a 14 to 16 it's from nasty gal um just so it'd be oversized I, if it's a sweatshirt it's gotta be oversized who else has that rule so yeah i got this um i may as well show you the other bits from nasty gal 
I'm gonna try all these on after I talk about them. I bought this top. Now, this isn't something I would usually go for. I just wanted to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Please ignore my washing. Um, I just wanted to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and I could just wear this with some like blue denim for the summertime and I put it on and I actually really like it. I need to find a bra that goes with it because I don't think I currently have one, but yeah, it's a cute little summery top in a yellow, which is a strange choice for me. And some people say the blonde shouldn't wear yellows, but when you've got fake, when I've got fake tan on, I think it's fine. The other two things from Nasty Gal I am sending back, one of them being this cardigan, only because of the material of it. It is not what I expected. It, it wasn't expensive. Um, but sometimes you can buy things that are not that expensive and they're actually really good quality. This is not one of those things. Um, it's a little cropped cardigan. I got it in a medium again because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger and I could just wear it over outfits because I am in the UK and even though it's getting warmer, it's still cold sometimes. Um, yeah, it's a shame. I do want to find a cardigan like this, but unfortunately it's not this one. <sighs> I get really out of breath when I film haul videos. These jeans, it's a shame about these because I I wanted to love them, but they're way, they're way too blue. Like it's probably my fault just for getting the wrong color. They're a straight leg sort of dad jean, high-waisted, and they fit really nicely actually, but the color's not my vibe. And I just don't think I'll get as much wear out of them that as like, as I want to, so I'm gonna send these back. Maybe I'll get a different color in the future, maybe a lighter denim with like some rips or something. But yeah, not a huge fan. It's a shame because I thought I was gonna love them. I got one thing from Misguided. It is this dress. It is very long, let me show you. Still got this on because I haven't worn it yet. Um, it's almost a maxi dress. It's like a long midi in this sort of bluey color with like a they call it a dalmatian dress because it's sporty i guess um long sleeve it's very kind of modest but it'll be good for work in the spring and the summer it's sort of tiered at the bottom and yeah this looks really nice on it look it feels really grown up it's very flattering and i think i got it in the sale for like 20 something quid so a bog then i got this t-shirt from asos it's the what collection is it what's it called um the 4505 collection look at this color this is in like the small size i think it's just meant to be massively oversized um i love this this with this denim don't get me started i absolutely love it sort of acid wash perfect to chuck on in the summertime what more could you want and then the last thing are these jeans. These are from H&M. Now these are different for me. I don't really like go crazy with my jeans, even though yes, I did just buy like the straight leg dad jeans, but these ones are like this. So they kind of like culottes, but they're a little bit longer than culottes. Um, wide leg, but they fit so well at the top and on the bum. I think I'm gonna keep them. Please let me know what you think when uh, you see me try them on, but yeah very stretchy comfortable the amount of jeans i've tried on recently they just have no stretch in them the jeans i tried on from premark in the beginning of this video i bought the size up and they also didn't fit like there was no way i was getting them on um but it's just because they were so rigid but these have a lot of stretch in them so yeah i'm gonna try them all on here is the purpley pinky t-shirt i'm obsessed with it i feel like i feel like a fortune teller like this with loads of gold jewelry ray-bans it's so big so comfortable i love it this is like what it looks like when it's untucked it's huge you can even wear it as a t-shirt dress um but yeah i like to tuck it in at the front but yeah cute i thought it'd be easier just to show you um in the mirror but see what i mean about i don't have the right bra to wear with this i don't know what bra i'd wear with it but yeah this is the top little summery number it's so like not me but also is very me if you know what i mean everything's just gonna pile up here i am washing my bedding and there's a pile of clothes this is the 
misguided dress oh i love it i feel like i want some more things i could just throw on i can't really do this uh, properly at the back by myself so it's kind of just hanging there but yeah this with some like chunky trainers to give me a little bit of height some nice little jewelry see i knew this would happen i've tried them on again and now i'm having second thoughts about sending them back they are a bit roomy i know these jeans are meant to be um but these are the size i usually get and they're a bit baggy but that's nothing a belt can't fix but oh, i really like the style of them maybe i'm just being drawn in by the style i just need to get a different color it's just the blue looks a bit cheap to me like i still want blue ones but i think i want a slightly different denim color they look nice on the bum this is the cardigan as well by the way like i said i do like it it's just the material is not it for me it's really itchy i don't know let me know your thoughts let me know these are the black culotte jean situation now <laughs> i think i love them but I'm still not sure. I think it's just because they're out of my comfort zone. I know you can't see very well, but I tried to film a different way. It just didn't work. So maybe I can brighten it or something. I don't know. But yeah, they are pretty cool. I would like your guys' feedback. I feel like I need some normal black straight jeans as well. But I don't know. They are kind of cool. They're pretty cool. So obviously I was supposed to show you guys how I made the icing for the cake and me putting the cake together. Long story short, I procrastinated a lot, had a meltdown because the cake was literally falling apart. So it didn't go um, how I wanted it to. However, it tastes bloody delicious. And I think I just cooked the sponges for too long so they sort of just fell apart but anyway this is how it looked the first time I made it it was so much better but of course sod's law when you film it things like this happen anyways that is the end of this vlog it was quite a beast to put together I had like an hour's worth of footage which for me is quite a lot um anyways I hope you enjoyed I will see you next Wednesday for a new video I usually upload Wednesdays this week it's Thursday because I haven't had time to do it so yeah anyway love you bye